Hello, I'm Eric Sapanik. I'm the founder of Scott Sibble in a Coin. I'm here with Richard Otto. He is one of our fantastic brokers here. Um, and we just want to talk a little bit about why Richard uh, is still a part of our industry after so many, many years and why he came to Scott Sibble in a Coin. Richard, if you could kind of tell us your journey because it's, it's been a long one. The invest, investing business has been around uh, basically forever. When you think about gold and silver, they've been around since the Bible's times. And a lot of other investments come and go. You know, we've all seen the penny stocks. Uh, today we're seeing the, the Bitcoin. And they could be around. They could do well for people. But most of our clients are looking for stability. They're looking for preserving what they have and leaving a legacy for their children. And we have found over the years I have found that gold and silver are certainly a strong part of that legacy. So really in, in time you think it's the, the history behind the precious metals that really solidify it as a viable type of investment for people even today in you know, 2021 and, and from here forward. Yeah, the new shiny toy you know, attracts a lot of new people, but I, I would say this, that when you think that you know, gold was at 300, 500, 1,000, silver was at $5, 10, 15, 20, 30. The upside potential of both of those metals is very strong, even today. The fundamentals are still there. And if you're looking to do something for the long run, a, a portion of your portfolio, whether it's 10 or 15, 20% of your portfolio, to balance that portfolio, that's what I recommend. What age demographics would you say are the, the majority of the people that you have spoke with, not only here at this company, right. but in the past? I would say that most of our clients are over 60. Okay, they are, a lot of them are retired, they have substantial wealth, and they want to make sure that that is there when they need it in the future. Or they may want to leave it for their children or grandchildren. A lot of people are doing that. So over 60 is usually what I'm thinking. I mean, I guess I would be safe to say that our a lot of our clients and the clients that you are dealing with are people that are trying to preserve their wealth, not try to make their wealth. Right, right, not make their wealth. Their wealth usually has already been made, that's correct. So it makes a lot of sense for them to buy something that gives them slow appreciation over time, but steady growth, more so than something that they need to worry about dropping in some significant value in a short period of time in their retirement years or beyond. Yeah, a lot of people are concerned about the stock market. You know, it has its ups and downs. Uh, the real estate market, we saw what would happen, to, you know, eight, ten years ago. Uh, during those times when those particular products went down, gold and silver went up substantially. And that's that balance we're looking for. You are of the age bracket where you've really seen what inflation looks like throughout the years. Right. Tell us a little bit about what you feel as though you've experienced in the past, maybe some of your past stories. I remember you told us a story about bus fare. Right. Um, and what you predict is going to happen because of the financial policies that we're dealing with today. Well, I think some of us of my age can remember when it was a, you could go to a movie for a quarter and then a dollar. Today, a movie's $20. Uh, gas was 19 cents. Now, we're, you know, it's $5. So those people who are basically on a, either a fixed income or they have a certain amount of money left, they are concerned about matching the inflationary uh, possibilities going up in the future with products that will move up with it. The, the green dollar, as we know, I mean, the green dollar is worth so far less than it used to be. I mean, when I, when I first got out of school, you know, you could get a nice apartment for $100 a, a month. Today, it's 2000 You have to have a solution for that. Gold and silver provide a portion of that solution. And I know that you and I were also speaking, inflation generally hurts who first? Well, it hurts the people who don't have a lot of money. It hurts the, the lower income people. It also hurts the fixed income people. And that's who we're trying to protect. Okay. Well, I appreciate everything that you do for us. I very much appreciate you taking a little time out of your day to interview with, uh, with me. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, if you want to speak with Richard, uh, you can go ahead and click the link that's uh, right there on his page. Uh, you can email him. You can call him. You can text him. Uh, you know, if you want to chat with him, be our guest. Thank you very much. Thanks, Eric. Thank you.